very special greetings from myself, Miss Baker, to all my friends at St. Joseph's Primary School. And I also bring you very special greetings from all the students at St. Peter's High School. Um, we're in Holy Week, one of the most important weeks in our whole Christian calendar, but we're really getting ready for Easter, the most important time and actually my most favorite time of the year. So it's great to have some uh, opportunity to at least be with you virtually so that we can reflect on all the events of Holy Week and Easter and pray together. So as we gather together for our time of prayer and reflection, I invite you to make with me the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you think about what you've just done there? How often do we make the sign of the cross? And how often do we really think about what that sign really means? The sign of the cross, the cross of Jesus, that we very, very specially remember on Good Friday. We remember his death, but also for us, the cross means so much more because the cross brought great victory for Jesus and for us. And that's what we're going to be reflecting on today. So let's ask God to be with us. So Father God, we ask you to journey with us as we recall the events of Holy Week and Easter, that we remember the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross because he loves us and help us too to see the great victory of the cross so that we can rejoice in the risen Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. So as we gather to remember, we recall, we reflect, on all the events leading up to the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection. By reflecting on them again, we want to be rejuvenated, reignited through the victory of his cross and resurrection. Do you forget things? I know I do. I have to make lots of lists and then tick things off so that I don't forget to do little jobs and things. I know I would be a very rich chaplain if I charged the students at St Peter's a pound for every time they said, oh, I forgot, I forgot. And I'm sure your parents and carers and teachers say the same to you. We do, don't we, forget so many things. And Jesus knows us very, very well. And he knows that we forget. At the Last Supper, he left us a very, very special gift. The gift of himself. And every time we share at Mass in his Holy Communion, in the Eucharist, then we do what he commanded us to do. To do this in memory of him. He wants us to remember all the wonderful things he did so that we too can do those great actions of love and courage and service. And he knows that we can only do those things because he is with us. So we're going to start our special liturgy today by looking at the events of the Last Supper by listening to Jesus' words, do this in memory of me. So we hope that everything we do, all our words and actions, that when we do them, we think and we remember what Jesus wants for us. On the night he was betrayed Oh 
It was now late at night and Jesus and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane to spend the night. Jesus knew that he would be betrayed and arrested and he prayed to his father, Father, you can do all things, please do not let this happen, but if it's your will, I will do it. Later that night, Judas brought armed men and soldiers with him to arrest Jesus the man I greet with a kiss is the one you need to arrest, he said. The guards grabbed Jesus and bound him in chains. The next morning Jesus was taken to the Roman leader in Jerusalem called Pontius Pilate. They accused Jesus of many things and said he was dangerous. Pontius Pilate put Jesus on trial and asked the people to choose who should live or die. Who do you want to free? Barabbas, who's committed crimes, or Jesus? The Jewish leaders in the crowd told the people to shout for Barabbas. We want Barabbas, they cried. Crucify Jesus. Jesus was taken away. He was whipped, and the soldiers called him names and made fun of him. They put a crown of thorn on his head and made him carry his heavy wooden cross through the streets to the place of his execution. When Jesus arrived at Calvary, they nailed him to the cross and left him to die. Some people shouted insults at Jesus. At three o'clock, Jesus said, Father, into your hands I place my spirit. And then he died. Through the events that we have just reflected on, we see the pain, the rejection, the betrayal, the suffering and the death of Jesus. But we must remember that whenever we come into contact with Jesus, even in those crisis moments, we change. So I think it's time now for a rewind. Let's rewind and have a look at some of those events now through those signs of hope that were present in that story. When Jesus was carrying his heavy cross, the soldiers made a passerby called Simon from Cyrene help Jesus to carry his cross. Although Simon was forced, he did an act of goodness by helping Jesus on his way. So let us pray together. Lord Jesus, help us to remember your words. Whatever you do, even for the least of my people, you do it for me. Lord Jesus, help us when we are at a crossroads and faced with the decision to serve or swerve, to reach out in help to those in need or to walk away. Help me to be Simon. May I serve others and help to shoulder their burdens in memory of you. I live my life in remembrance. Your promise I A woman called Veronica saw Jesus carrying his cross. She saw that he was weak and in pain. Veronica's love overcame her fears and with great kindness, courage and compassion, 
she stepped forward to wipe the face of Jesus. Let us pray. Jesus, when we are at a crossroads and faced by acts of unkindness and cruelty, give us the courage like Veronica to reach out with acts of compassion and kindness to others in memory of you. I live my life in Jesus was crucified with two other men. One of them spoke to Jesus. Jesus, I am sorry for the wrong things I have done. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus said to him, Today you will be with me in paradise. Lord Jesus, help me to remember your words, to forgive others, and then I will be forgiven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when we are at a crossroads and faced with decisions to forgive or forsake, soften my heart to be merciful and quick to forgive in memory of you. I live my life in Some of the women who followed Jesus stayed with him at the foot of the cross. They had followed him from Galilee to care for his needs. Lord Jesus, help us to remember that love always protects, love always trusts, love always hopes, and love always perseveres. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, when we are at a crossroads and faced with a decision to reject or remain, help us always to stand with the people who are in need. Help me to be a good friend in memory of you. I live my life in On the Sunday morning, Mary Magdalene stood outside the empty tomb of Jesus, crying. She thought someone had stolen the body of Jesus because the tomb was empty. A man approached her. It was Jesus, but Mary didn't recognise him. She thought he was the gardener. Why are you crying? <laughs> they, they have taken my Lord away. And I don't know where they have put him. <laughs> Tell me who you're looking for. Oh, sir, if you're the gardener, please tell me where they've taken him. Mary. Lord. <gasps> It's all right. You don't have to hold on to me now. Go. Tell everyone. Tell Peter. I have seen the Lord. I have seen the Lord. He's alive. <laughs> Mary ran as fast as she could to tell the disciples the good news that Jesus was alive, that he had risen from the dead. Jesus is alive, not just in the Easter story, but right here, right now, with you and me. Doesn't that just make you want to go, wow, doesn't it? It's not just me, is it? It makes us want to go, wow! 
all around us we can see signs of new life and new hope. The clocks have gone forward now and the days are getting longer with lovely bright long evenings. All around us we see nature bursting into life with beautiful flowers. The trees have new buds and blossoms as well. Even the animal kingdom is saying we're alive and on the hillsides and the fields we see beautiful new lambs gambling around enjoying life. It's like the whole of nature is waking up again after the difficulties and harshness of winter. Nature says blah to your winter, we're not dead, we are alive, we have the victory. All of our churches at Easter have a very special Easter candle called the Paschal Candle and this represents the living and risen Jesus, the flame burning brightly in the darkness to remind us that he has won the victory over everything, even death. Wow! We see the cross that reminds us how Jesus saved us and the little studs of incense marking the five places where Jesus was wounded, on his hands, his feet, the crown of thorns on his head and the spear that was put into his side. These wounds brought us forgiveness and resurrection life. Wow! The Alpha and Omega symbols are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. A little bit like our A and Z. They remind us that Jesus is everlasting. He was there at the beginning of time and will be there at the end. He is with us at the beginning of our life and will be with us at the end. We will never be alone. We gather together with Christians from all over the world to remember the greatest victory of all the victory of the cross of Jesus. This victory is the greatest of human victories. It is unique, it's a one-off, it's special, it's different from all other victories. If you win at sport, you might say, yeah, we won, we have the victory. But you know, sometimes that doesn't last forever and you can lose the next game. But the victory of Jesus on the cross lasts forever. Jesus won the victory through his love for you and me. He won the victory by being humble, by being obedient and by serving. When it looked like everything was lost and finished, the glorious and risen Jesus comes out of the empty tomb and brings new and everlasting life to you and to me. How can we forget that fantastic good news? Jesus wants to remind us every day no matter what you face, no matter how difficult or sad you may feel, Jesus says to you, I am here. I have won the victory. I am alive and I am with you. So Jesus wants to share his victory and new life with us. He wants us to go and share that fantastic resurrection life with other people. He wants us to value and respect everyone, girls and boys, all races, all colours of people and nationalities. He wants us to be caring to be people who are in need at home and in other countries. He wants us to be caring and kind to people who are sad or to people who feel that they're alone or for people who are struggling. 
He wants us to look after all of God's beautiful creation, animals and plants. We've been through a very difficult time, haven't we, with COVID? But Jesus wants us to remember and to have hope. He wants us to know that he's got this. He wants us to see all the signs of hope that are all around us. We see the victory of the cross of Jesus at work in so many people and in so many um, circumstances. In all the help, for instance, that so many people have given to others. We've seen inspirational people like Marcus Rashford and Captain Sir Tom who inspired others to help people in need. We've seen all the wonderful doctors and nurses working so hard to help people who are sick. All the key workers, all your amazing staff taking care of you. All the wonderful things your parents and carers and families have done to keep you all safe and well and learning. Do you know what I feel like saying? I feel like saying, wow. Now, I have found a wonderful song that really reminds us of all the things I've just been saying about Jesus' new life and how Jesus is alive. And I think this is a really good point in our liturgy together to have us listening and maybe even singing some of the words. And certainly we might even be able to do some of the actions of the song. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, the song is called Jesus is Alive and part of the chorus goes like this. I'm going to let you hear it and repeat. OK, did you like that little bit? I did. So here's the chorus I want you to listen to now. So yes, Jesus is alive and he loves us. So before we listen to the whole song now, remember there's nothing that Jesus loves more than when we open our mouths and praise him. So here's the whole song and I hope at least that you might be able to join in in the chorus. Enjoy.
wonderful. Never forget that Jesus is alive and he loves you. So we're going to turn to God now in prayer and our prayers are going to be led by some people that I think you will recognise. So let's pray together. Right, St. Joseph's, I've got some very, very special friends of yours who want to say a little hello to you. Hi, St. Joseph's. Happy Easter. Hope you're all well. May we remember to be a people of hope. May we have the courage to wipe the tears from the eyes of all people who are hurting and in pain. Help us to be brave when we face difficulties. May we live in the victory of your cross and resurrection. You show us that nothing is too much for you. Help us to always be willing and joyful to serve others. May we live in your victory of your cross and resurrection. May we remember to be a people of love. Lord, teach us to reach out in love to those who feel alone. May they know through our words and actions that you are always near. May we live in the victory of your cross and resurrection. May we remember to be a people of compassion. Lord Jesus, help us to have mercy and compassion. Help us to always be ready to forgive. May we live in the victory of your cross and resurrection. May we remember to be people who bring new life. Lord, make us generous in giving support to people in need. May we understand your words. Whatever you do to the least of my sisters and brothers, you do it to me. Help us to carry people when they are struggling. May we live in the victory of your cross and resurrection. Help us to be people who build communities of kindness and love. May we live in the victory of your cross and resurrection. So let's join all our prayers together now as we say the prayer taught to us by the risen and victorious Jesus. So join with me as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So we ask God's blessing now at the end of our liturgy together. So let's pray. We ask God's blessing on each and every one of us, on our families and our loved ones, and on our school community as we pray. Father God, we ask that you bless us anew with Easter joy and hope. We give thanks for the victory of the cross of Jesus May we always live as an Easter people in the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd just really love to wish you now a very, very happy, hopeful and joyful Easter. No.
Nothing is impossible Every chain is breakable With you We are victorious You are stronger than our hearts You are greater than the dark With you We are victorious 